Well, good evening from Cairo, where the crowds are back in Tahrir Square, as if to say, we really did do it. In the last 24 hours, things have moved incredibly quickly. Key leaders in the Muslim Brotherhood have been arrested. The former President Morsi is effectively under house arrest, and a new president, a judge, has been sworn in. This program has obtained the first television interview with the new president of Egypt. We will be hearing from him in a moment. But Jonathan Rugman has been looking back at a remarkable 24 hours, starting here in Tahrir Square. Outside the Constitutional Court in Cairo this morning, Egypt's army was guarding its unconstitutional coup. Across the street, furious supporters of the president the army deposed. Military rule is illegal, they shouted. The police are illegal. Mohamed Morsi is our president. Riot police pushed back, but we saw no violence. This is a military coup doing all it can not to look like one, though these protesters were unconvinced. It's not justice, this woman said. We've had military dictatorship before, and now we've gone back to square one. The court's police chief said it was a great day for Egypt. All, all men in Egyptian is very happy. As did this crowd on the sunnier side of the street. This is not a coup, OK? It looks like a coup. No, no. All these are, are, are traitors. Is this a coup? Will the people celebrate a coup like this? No, 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 no. Inside, we watched Egypt's interim leader take office. Adli Mansour, who only three days ago was appointed Chief Justice by the very president he has now replaced. While the audience clapped, the generals stayed away, as did yesterday's president, who is now in military custody, and the scores of leaders of the Muslim Brotherhood who've been arrested. Well, Egypt's unelected president has been sworn into office, a man most Egyptians have never even heard of until the extraordinary events of last night. Then, as he was flanked by fellow judges, I asked him how Egypt's divisions could be ended. This is, of course, a very divided country. What is your message to the millions in Egypt who didn't vote for you, and, of course, nobody voted for you? I did not come to power through elections, but was charged with getting this job done by the revolutionaries in the square. I am president for a specific mission, to stay until elections. All I can say to the Egyptian people is to stay together as one. We have had enough of division. You are here talking about a transition to democracy. Will that transition be a real transition? Will the Muslim Brotherhood be allowed to continue in Egyptian politics? <laughs> The Muslim Brotherhood is part of the fabric of Egyptian society and they are one of its parties. They are invited to integrate into this nation and be part of it. If they answer the call, they will be welcomed. This was the last time Mohamed Morsi appeared in shaky amateur video denouncing what he called a stolen revolution. This video appeared on the internet late last night in the president's name, only by then he wasn't in charge of anything. General Sisi was. In a nationwide address, the head of the armed forces said Morsi had been ousted for failing to meet the demands of the masses. Flanked by politicians and clergy, the general claimed the military had no interest in politics and that after a transition there would be elections. And this was the moment the news broke in Tahrir Square amid a burst of fireworks. These vast crowds had won. Their politicians had refused even to talk to Mr Morsi, and the army had given them what they wanted. We're being told this is not a military coup. We're being told there will be a transition to democracy. But make no mistake, Egypt's first democratically elected president has been deposed through a combination of people power and Egypt's armed forces. Is this a military coup? No, no, for sure not. Look to the people, look to the people how they look like. Everywhere in Egypt, everywhere, not in Cairo, everywhere in Egypt. The army joined in the show, its leviathans of the air dropping flags on the people below. 
In a country as poor and chaotic as this, such displays can inspire adoration, which is, of course, the point. In 17 Egyptian provinces, a violent backlash followed. This was Alexandria, where three were killed in clashes between pro and anti-Morsi demonstrators. Journalists from Islamist television channels were arrested and their stations taken off air. Al Jazeera Egypt was broadcasting live until this. Just a minute, come with us please, a voice says. Then the commentary stops. In Cairo's Nasser city, an infantry company, along with riot police, hemmed in an angry encampment of Morsi supporters, while state television began denouncing the Muslim Brotherhood, just like the bad old days of dictatorship. And all day here, Egypt's armed forces have been impressing on their people that they should feel the military's love, throwing on this free-to-view air show as the new president was sworn in this morning. Countries providing Egypt's military hardware have not condemned this as a military coup. And while the Brotherhood cries foul, other revolutionary voices are still savouring the kind of intervention they had begged for. Jonathan Rugman, Channel 4 News, Cairo.